All right, back with uh, this picture of Solomon's temple. It says, uh, Solomon began to build the house of the Lord in Jerusalem on Mount Moriah in the spring of, ni of 967 or 966 B.C. He completed it seven years later in the fall of 960 or 959 B.C. The temple itself, not including the surrounding chambers on three sides, were, not, were 90 feet long, 30 feet wide, and 45 feet high. It stood in the middle of a court with boundary walls. It's a, it's a huge building, man. 45 feet. You know, the height of it. It's a big temple. Let's see here. It says, um, a structure with three levels was built around the walls of the temple. The lower chamber was about five, was, was about eight feet wide. The middle chamber was nine feet wide. And the upper chamber was about 11 feet wide. Two ornate wooden doors overlaid with gold separated the inner sanctuary from the, from the nave. The nave had, uh, had, um, cloistry windows with recessed frames. The vestibule was 30 feet wide and 15 feet deep. Um, the hollow bronze pillars on the north was called Bo was called Boaz, and the one on the south was called Jacob. Two, or yeah, two ornate wooded, uh, Folding doors overlaid with gold separated the nave from the be from the vestibule. The bronze altar for bronze offerings was 15 feet high, and 30 feet long and wide. Very huge um, uh, altar. The sea was a metal basin about 8 feet high, and 15 feet in diameter. It held 12,000 gallons of water for the priest to wash in. It was supported by 12 bronze oxen in sets of three facing in each direction. It's a very big uh, uh, basin for sure to hold 12,000 gallons of water so that the priest can bathe in pretty much. Um, ten bronze wheeled stands, each holding a large basin containing water for, for rinsing off animal parts that were used for the burnt offering. So, so you have this big old basin of water that held, that held 12,000 gallons of water. That's where the priest would bathe in, and then you had these little other these little other basins where they would uh, wash. The animals, and then you know, kill them, and then um, you know, wash them again, wash their inner parts, and all that, so they could serve it to the Lord. The nave of the holy place was 60 feet long and 30 feet wide, and it, it contained the golden altar of incense, the golden table for the bread of the presence, and, and ten golden lampstands, five on the north and five on the south. The inner sanctuary or most holy place was 30 foot uh, cube. Such rooms were often elevated in temples in the ancient Near East. Two massive golden cherubim, or angels, stood on either side of the ark, each 15 feet tall, and with 15 foot wingspans. Very t massive, tall uh, um, angels. The ark of the covenant stood between the two cherubim, or the two, the two uh, angels. It's kind of like the two angels were like guarding the, the throne of God, pretty much. That's the way that's the way it is in heaven. You, know? you have angels that guard the that guard, of course, the throne of God in heaven. Um, make sure that's everything on here. Let's see. Yeah, that's everything. It should be everything on this. And then you also, you also have the temple uh, architectural plan. It shows you the, the plan of that. But then this is how big Solomon's temple was. And very huge. So it, it's so big it's on two pages. So I'll, I'll hold it up for you. This is how big it was. You can see that. Well, that's how big Solomon's temple was. So it's a very massive, very massive temple. Um, but this is just, this is just a picture of that. And I'll be right back here with uh, here in a minute with chapter seven here shortly. Be right back.